kind of like hunting. You're actually stalking the fish. You know, you're in their environment, getting out of your environment. Weight fishing is as basic as it gets. No boat, not a lot of gear. Nice fish, Ethan, pretty. And the reward can be great. Awesome, look at the color on that. Awaiting you in the shallow waters of the Texas coast are red drum, spotted sea trout, flounder, and many other sport fish. But not a lot of folks know where to go. Well, there are eight bay systems along the Texas coast to choose from, starting with the upper coast at Sabine Lake and heading all the way south to the lower Laguna Madre. In all, there is almost 400 miles of beach or bay access. Art Morris works for Texas Parks and Wildlife, and one of his jobs is to get folks interested in wade fishing. We're fishing the upper Laguna Madre today, just south of Corpus Christi. It's one of the premier bays on the Texas coast to wade fish. It's got miles and miles of shallow grass flats, one with an average depth of three feet. There's tons of opportunities for wade fishermen to come down here and try their luck. Yeah, you're here wading along the bay shoreline or, or anywhere really, you need to be looking for any kind of sign of activity. That could be bait fish swimming in the water, a fish tailing, redfish are renowned for that. You're looking for more subtle things. <laughs> There's a fish. This is what we're after. <laughs> oh man, this is a good fish here. Yeah, here we go. Ah, there's a redfish right there. This one will keep. This will make some nice grilled redfish fillets tonight. They're strong, strong uh, runners. They don't jump very often, but uh, boy, they sure put up a big fight pound for pound. Making sure there are plenty of fighting reds in our bays is the job of Texas Parks and Wildlife's Coastal Fisheries Hatchery Program. Our goal this year is to raise around 25 million red drum fingerlings. The plan in the past had been to raise them to an inch and a half in size. We have 190,000 fish that we're going to be releasing today. But now they grow them to an inch and three quarters. Well, the reason why we want the fish to be bigger is because the fish is better able to adapt to the environment. Ruben, I feel them coming now. It's uh, better able to forage, better able to evade predation. So uh, a bigger fish has a better probability of survival. Don't make us proud, little red drum. Out of all of the bays, probably the least utilized is San Antonio Bay. Let's cast up in these weeds here. Donna Bouchard takes her sons Andy and Ethan out just about every weekend. I like to wade fish because it's something we can do together, but yet we still all have our space. It's kind of good too because there's three of us. We can cover a lot of area, kind of scout out for each other. See that shark? Look at it over there. It's probably in there eating mullet and little redfish, stuff like that. It's just taking his time. Wade fishing, you can always go most time where a boat can't, you can walk and get to them pretty easy, and you ain't got to worry about spooking them or making a lot of noise. What you got, Ethan? A redfish, I guess. Is he going to be a keeper? I don't know. Might be bigger than you think, Ethan. Yeah, redfish, they don't scare as easy like trout, so you can get closer to them and they're a lot funner to catch. Look at that, pretty fish, pretty fish. Oh, Donna's got a fish. Oh, that's a keeper Ooh. trout right there. Uh-huh. Don't lose it, don't lose it, Mom. I think the biggest challenge is probably uh, finding what's gonna work that day. Nice fish, Mom. It seems like if you're wade fishing with artificials, that's Ooh. like the ultimate catch. <laughs> If you are looking to catch bigger fish, the Gulf's barrier islands are the ticket. South of San Antonio Bay lies North Padre Island National Seashore. With over 65 miles of undeveloped beach and surf, 
it's coastal weight fishing at its best. So I'm looking for any signs, any movement on the water, that's what I'm looking for. Local Nick Meyer starts out every trip with a net full of mullet. I just saw some scoot under there, I don't know if I got them. These finger mullet, they're migrating down the island south and they're closely followed by the predators and that's why they're such good bait. Okay, this rig is gonna be used to fish really close to us and I'm gonna keep my bait alive. We've got the mullet and what I do on the little mullet, I take the hook under his chin and just bring it out through the top of his head like so. It's a really good redfish rig. Okay, we're gonna place this live mullet in this deeper water here. This is where the fish are naturally channeling up. I'm gonna just throw him out there. He'll appear like he's injured, and that's what the redfish and the trout are looking for. The beauty of this beach is you've got such a variety of fish as you go through the seasons, from the pompano in the fall and winter, trout, redfish, jackfish, there's everything in this water. It's more than likely the most fertile bit of water you can get, and I've got a fish. He certainly picked it up and started running. He's gone down tired of me. You know, I think we've got a ladyfish. Here he is. Pound for pound, one of the best fighting fish you can get. There he goes, perfect. Ladyfish, poor man's tarping. All right, we've got a redfish, I think. She keeps taking drag on it. It's a nice red. It's more than likely a male. Real healthy surf red. My job is to keep in front of him. That's what fishing on the beach is about. Beautiful red fish. Absolute prime condition. Healthy. Look at the beautiful colours on it. And that's why I like this beach, I really do. The bay with more square miles of wade fishing opportunities than any other is the lower Laguna Madre along the southern edge of the coast. Oh, so it's just coming up. Oh boy, here we go. Avid fly fisherman Shane Wilson is in an area called South Sand Flats. When you come down to South Padre to wade fish, you're going to be fishing some of the most pristine gin clear water that you can see. This water is clear because of the salinity content and because of the turtle grass and the seagrass that it's in. Something else that you don't want to miss when you're out in this early morning are the amount of blue herons. There's about seven or eight of them over there right now. They are tremendous fishermen. I wish I could fish like they do. This looks Fabulous. The bottom is hard and the water is high. Like any type of wade fishing in this shallow water, you have to be ready for any movement. But I'm looking for water displacement. It's a wave going in the other direction. It's just something you have to train yourself to see. Here we go. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There it is. There it is. This is what it's all about, Southern Texas fishing, baby. Come on, hang on. Whoa, come on. I got a nice redfish. <laughs> I don't want to break me off either. Oh, sweet, sweetheart. Yes, sir. -y. She was in probably three inches of water. I threw the fly about four inches off to her left side. One strip, she turned on it, stripped it again, she took it. That's what it's all about. Here you go, baby. Freedom is there. There she is. Oh, sweet. It's relaxing, very relaxing. So whether it's wading with the family in San Antonio Bay. This is about as good as it gets. Or fly fishing solo in South Padre, whatever your pleasure, Texas is a wade fishing wonderland.